It's not so usual for a basketball player to have <clears throat> a LinkedIn account, I think, but you do. Uh, you had a part-time job as a waiter, so please tell us more about it. And perhaps, uh, can, you, can you translate that experience into somehow useful skills uh, on basketball court? Yeah, um, so in between my junior year and senior year in college, uh, I needed some extra money and I had some extra time, so I picked up a waiter job at a German restaurant. Uh, and um, the skills I picked up for it were just, was just people skills, you know, uh, talking to different people, uh, meeting a lot of different characters, and really just the networking side of it. It is also said in your LinkedIn uh, that you're open to business opportunities. Which ones exactly would you be considering? Uh, just all, all the ones that feel right. You know, if it, if, it, if it feels right, if it is, you know, if it's aligned with, uh, you know, what, what I stand for, what I'm feeling, then... I'm all for it. Maybe you weren't so sure that you're going to go pro in basketball? Uh, no, I, I wasn't sure. When I graduated college uh, in 2020, it was the start of the lockdown. Um, and it was really hard to go pro. So my first move was trying to look for uh, some type of job job, some type of business move. But because it was at the start of COVID lockdown, everything was, it was tough. So my first year, um, I didn't play pro. I was just working out every day and just hoping that a contract would come. Uh, I guess growing up in the States, playing in Europe uh, isn't uh, a dream for most of the guys. NBA is, is the ultimate goal. However, you are here right now, third pro season, uh, after years in uh, North Mac Macedonia and Poland. I is there an upside uh, of playing overseas for you? There is. Uh, ever since I was little, I've always wanted to travel and experience different cultures. So the NBA wasn't ever even really the dream for me. It was just traveling and living in different cultures, meeting different people. And uh, I think that's the upside is I meet a lot of people that I would have never met and just learn from different cultures. Perhaps you can right now tell what do uh, Americans, uh, what they don't understand about Europe? Um, the pace of it. I think in the US we're always moving so fast, but in Europe things are a lot slower. Uh, it's a lot more grounded, where I feel in the US we're kind of in a bubble in a way. Uh, what were the things uh, that were hardest to adjust to European lifestyle? What do you tell your uh, family and friends? The hardest thing is the language barrier, for sure. Uh, a lot of stores I go to are just when I'm out in public and if I need something or something I don't understand, having to pull out my phone and you know have the Translate app up, uh, that's probably the toughest part. And just uh, how much time you spend by yourself, kind of away from friends and family. Uh, it's a lot of time by yourself, but that's where having hobbies and really getting to know yourself kind of comes, comes into play. Did you experience uh, culture shock when you first came to Europe? Yes, it was a it was a big culture shock. But like I said, since I always wanted to travel and experience different cultures, I think that made it easier for me.